There's a TikTok that's gone viral from our friends over at Libs of TikTok, one of the great Twitter accounts, of a transgender Satanist explaining, and he's got, he's got all these facial tattoos and lots of crazy piercings and looks, it would seem intentionally very scary. He's obviously got a lot of problems. And he's explaining the philosophical center of his strange appearance. I'm just going to post this every time people ask me the same questions over and over again. My name's Farah. I am a trans woman as well as an intersex woman. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, or your grace. Uh, my eyes are tattooed. My nose is a piercing. I identify as a threat, a nightmare, and a goddess, so please bow down to me. I do not believe in God, I don't worship the devil, but yes, I am a Satanist, which means I am my own God and I worship myself. Thank you, have a good day. So a lot of people are looking at this and saying, man, there's a lot of untreated mental illness out there, and I, yeah, I bet this person has some psychological problems. But the person also has spiritual and philosophical problems. And today, because our, our country operates in this very materialist way, where we deny spiritual reality, and it makes us go kind of schizophrenic, because on the one hand, we say there's no such thing as the soul or spirit, we're just meat puppets, and you know we're just bags of chemicals. But then on the other hand, we say our bodies don't mean anything, and, and if, we think, if I'm a man and I think I'm a woman, then I actually am a woman. And the physical world, the flesh means nothing, and the spirit means everything. And we've got this really schizophrenic view, rather than the reality of the situation, which is that we're body and soul combined, right? body and spirit together, so the more interesting thing that this person says is beyond the eye tattoos and the face tattoos and the giant piercing through his nose and all that, he says, I'm a Satanist, but I don't believe in God and I don't worship Satan. I worship myself and I am a God and I'm a goddess. Like as though this is some clever thing. You'll, you'll hear this from certain Satanist groups. They say, oh, you, we're just, we're using the word Satanism kind of ironically. You don't, we don't really believe in gods and deities and devils. We just worship ourselves as if that isn't what Satanism always was. That, that is Satanism. That's what Satan did. <laughs> That's what made Satan fall like lightning from heaven. It was Satan, a, an angel, chose to worship himself and pursue his own will rather than the will of God. This is just straight out of the Bible. And then he falls from heaven and, and goes down to hell. This is what John Milton writes about in Paradise Lost. He says the mind is, uh, Satan is saying this when he's cast down into hell. He says the mind is its own place and, and can make a heaven of hell and a hell of heaven. But, but that isn't true. You actually can't do that. And the more that the Satan in Milton's Paradise Lost thinks that way, the, the worse off he becomes and eventually becomes a snake. And, he, and anywhere he turns, he's stuck in hell, as are these people. We'll get to that in just one second. First, though, did you know that in just the last six years, over 100,000 farms and ranches in the United States have shut down? And do you know why? because foreigners are stealing their stuff and their market p position. Foreign meat is stealing their business and robbing you of the quality and flavor that you deserve. That's why Good Ranchers is here. A lot of the meat that you'll see in the grocery store that has a kind of USA type label on it is actually not from America. It's actually from other, other countries and then it's processed here. Don't do that. The Good Ranchers have gone out. They have found great American ranches, really exceptional quality beef, better than organic, chicken, really top quality stuff. I love the burgers myself. To me, the burgers are absolutely out of this world. Go to goodranchers.com slash Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S right now. Get 10 free bistro filets. In addition, if you subscribe, you will save 25 bucks off each subscription box of mouthwatering American meats for life. These boxes will show up on schedule right to your door. That is 10 free bistro filets. That's a $119 value, free express shipping, and $25 off your monthly subscription for life at goodranchers.com slash Knowles, goodranchers.com slash Knowles, or use code Knowles at checkout. 10 free bistro filets, free express shipping, 25 bucks off your monthly subscription for life, goodranchers.com slash Knowles. If you pursue your own will, divorced from the moral order, if you pursue your own disordered desires, divorced from good, and if you pursue your own fantasies, divorced from reality, you are going to end up in hell, in the afterlife and in this life too, and in your personal life and in society too. And that person in the, who has all those problems on TikTok, that person would seem to be living in a kind of hell 
And maybe we all th- focus on the chemical reasons for that. Maybe this person needs to take this drug or that drug or this antidepressant or whatever. But there's a spiritual and philosophical issue here too. And the same thing goes for our public life. The same thing goes for abortion. Okay. And, and a lot of other political issues, but abortion is a pretty clear one because it involves a mother killing her own child. You, you can't, you can't escape it. You can't escape moral reality. You can't, you can try And a lot of people try, even on the right, you know, the left certainly tries, even on the right, the kind of more libertarian point of view is that we can escape the moral order. We don't need to be beholden to any moral order. It's just our willfulness, our choice, our desires. That's all that really matters. But it's not. It's not. And the men who developed our country knew that. And great statesmen throughout history have known that. And we stupidly have forgotten that. And the more we forget it, the crappier our our country looks. And it's as simple as that. Hey, man. I'm glad you liked that clip or lady or whatever, however you identify. Thank you for watching that clip. You can subscribe by ringing the bell, getting all the notifications for all the future videos. And if our friends here don't want to give you the notifications, I would recommend you go to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Stitcher or Google Play or wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe. Leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.